Welcome back everyone. I'm Jewel and today we're in the Giants Editor and that is for Farming Simulator 22. It is the 9.0.3 version and we're going to do uh, a tutorial of how to get the base game map into the Giants Editor and so you can do an edit of that map. So this is for beginners so hope you enjoy. Um, basically after you have the Giants Editor uh, already downloaded, which if you don't know how to do that I have a video tutorial of that so just look back in the playlist. But for now, say you've already got it. You're gonna click on it to open it like it is here. You just left click on it in the taskbar once if that's where you put it or if it's on the desktop click twice to open it. It's going to come up. It's going to have another dialog box right here. Just X that out. Close it. And then you're going to come to File. Left click. Then you're going to go to New Mod from Game. Left click. This is going to pop up. And in this case, I don't need to save any changes at this point because I don't even know. Normally this don't pop up first. But we're going to click No uh, in this case. So then this pops up. You have some options here if you click on this little tab over here to bring this up now you have three different maps and then the rest are all the in-game items like tractors and all that kind of stuff so what you're going to want to do is pick which map you want and in my case I'm going to pick the US one you might want this one the other map that they made for Farming Simulator 22 I, I'm not sure what the name of it was I, have, I haven't played on it and it's been a while since I've seen it and then you have the Alpine map and I don't remember the name of it but I'm sure that you do but it, but if you want the main one the Elm Creek is the US one so you're gonna click on that if you want that whichever one you want click on it it's gonna give you the same uh, basic information and stuff you need it's just a different map so like if you're wanting to edit the US one then you need to click on that so then once you do that you're gonna click OK so that's going to pop this up. Once it does, you're going to highlight, you're going to left click at the end of it right here to make that cursor come up at the end. Then you're going to left click, hold down right there at the end, drag it over while you're holding it down to right before the uh, forward slash. So don't take away the forward slash. Now, now you're going to name your map. Or you could just leave it what it says there if you're not worried about it. But typically you want to name it here while you're doing this. Okay, so uh, this is a 22 map. So I'm going to put farm sim. Keep it all in one. Alright, so farm sim 22. I'm going to put 22 uh, test map. That way I'll know that this is just a test map that I'm doing tutorials on. So you would want to name it whatever your your map name is. Like my other map is called Jules Peaceful Valley. So that's my map name I would put there if I was going to do that. But whatever you want your edit to be called of your map and you're naming your map put there. Hit OK. It's going to download all of the information. It's going to take time so be patient. If you see a little blue circle spinning, that's the buffering wheel, and don't click anything. Because if you do, you'll jam it up. The editor, the editor sometimes crashes, so you need to leave it alone. Don't touch nothing. Nothing on the keyboard, nothing with the mouse. Just be patient. Some computers are slower than others. Yours will probably take longer than mine. My old computer took a while. This computer's newer, so obviously it's going to be faster. Now you can see that this is the Elm Creek. So you can tell there's the fire department, there's our farm. It's not showing any, any of the other stuff. Now the reason it's not showing the, the stuff on the farm like the barn and the house, that's in XML. So that's why that's not showing up because that's the way they set it up to do. So, But that's for later. Tutorials on that is later. I also have some tutorials of 19 and, and why that happens and what you got to do. But basically, we're going to get started. Say we want to edit. So, 
this that's all you do right there to get the map in here so I'm not gonna show a full video of editing I'm just gonna do a real quick rundown of it so you have your career star point where's it at right here so if you don't want to start right here you can move that so say we want to start in front of the barn which would show up in game um, you would hit control B after you highlighted it right here in the scene graph and then left click where you want it and then left click to twice basically once and then again not too fast but just click click alright so now you've moved it and whichever way this blue arrow is facing which sometimes it kinda looks purple but it's blue uh, whichever way that's facing that's the way the player is going to be facing like if it was a car the front of the car is going to face this way the back will face that way so whichever way this is facing is where you're going to be facing so if you want to turn it to face toward the field or toward the house it would go that way okay so that's one way of editing that's how to move the career start point but basically you can see the map is it's got everything that you need all the stuff you click here to open this up and you see all this stuff you click here it shows you the cell points and things you click here it's got this other stuff so basically if you want to do some work say you don't want this tree well you can come over here click on it and it's going to highlight over here make sure the whole thing's highlighted not just part of it because if you just got that part you're not deleting the whole tree or that part you need the whole thing if because if you don't delete everything you'll have a the the collision the tree collision see what it looks like it's the collision of the tree so that you run into it and it stops you and you don't go through it so basically make sure the whole thing is highlighted so you delete it all and then if you hit delete I'm gonna just hit delete and it's gone so you can get rid of the stuff you don't want so you can be working on it and putting things where you want it. And if you don't, and if you made a mistake, hit Edit, Undo. Just left click on it, and then left click again, and it came back, and you're good. Now, if you just want to move the tree, click on the tree, make sure it's all highlighted and not not just one of these. If you just move one of them, you got a problem. Just make sure the whole transform. This is called a transform group. Make sure the whole one is highlighted. You're going to drag it wherever you want it. Say you want it over here instead, just drag it over there. See? And I, of course, I'm not going to do it because I don't need it to be. This is an example. But then you can do all the other things with this map that you want. But you can do the, the uh, lowering or making the ground higher. You can change roads, you can paint on it and everything, but that's going to be for future tutorials. And I have some already for 19, and some of most of it's pretty, pretty, pretty basic, pretty the same. It's not anything really different from those type of things from 19 to 22. The only other differences are like not, not with none of the paint type stuff. It's with the other things, uh, like the more complicated things. So you don't got to worry about any of that. If you know some of 19, most of that's the same. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Uh, we're going to be working on a 22 map real soon. Uh, and this is just going to be what I do my tutorials on, some of them, so that you can understand some things about just an edit instead of doing a map from scratch. So now I want to show you, after you've done all that and gotten your map into the editor properly, I want to show you how you can find it and where it's at after you've done that. Uh, if you'll look up at the top of the screen, you have this line up here where it tells you the path. Well, that's where it's going to be. And in my case, it's going to be in Documents and then My FS22 Mods. That's what it should have created a folder for you for that. So we're going to go look there real quick. So click on the File Explorer and I'm already opened up to it but I'm gonna click on documents and then you'll look uh, in your list and then you see FS22 mods double click it and as you can see there's the map farm sim 22 test map then you double click it and then you see this stuff double click maps double click click maps US and then in here you have your i3d 
So when you're wanting to work on your map again, so say you X out of the map. Let's do it. Let's X out. We're going to X out of the map. We're going to say no because we didn't change anything to saving it. But if you did do work, you need to hit yes. But in this case, we didn't change anything. So no. Now, now that we're in the folder and we want say so now we want to open it up, up in the uh, Giants Editor. You find it in this folder, the 22 mods folder, the FS one. And then you click to the map that you picked. Then go click on the maps. Again, I'll go back so you can see. So once you find it, you double click, double click, double click, and then you you could do two ways. You can double click on this i3D and it'll open to the to the thing, or you can right click and then click open. We're gonna double click, and then it's gonna pop this up. Now, if you have any previous versions, obviously you probably won't if you're a beginner, of which this is for. But if you have more versions, you need to pick the right one, which would be 9.03.3. Uh, but if you have the old versions, make sure you're not on those when you click it. This one, 8.2.2, is for Farming Sim 19. So we're, we're already on the right one. So we're going to click OK. And it's going to open it up. And you notice it takes a minute, so leave it alone. Don't click anything. Let it do its thing. It might take some people five minutes. I mean, it just depends. It's, it's rough on some computers. And this is the dialog box I was telling you about at the beginning. Just click on the X to get rid of it. And now you're ready to edit and you can go to work. Of course, we're not going to do that, but you get the point. And then once you're done doing something in here, you would come up here and right there where it says save, click on that, left click on it, and it would save. Give it time. Don't rush it. Make sure it finishes saving. And then if you're done, then you can just click the X to X out of it. But that's pretty much it on that. And so now we're uh, at the end of the video. And I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Please hit the like button. Subscribe. Turn on your notification bell. If you want to receive a notification every time I post a video. Goodbye, everybody.